Okay, everyone, here we go. I have a little challenge today. I had someone bring me some cheerleading shoes, and this is what it looks like. I also have a set, a pair of my heels that has, see that back there on the heel? So I'm going to clean that. And what I'm going to use is my marble paste. So I ground up a little bit of marble paste there. I also have down here a pan that has all kinds of whatever, yucky, yellowy, probably like from pogo sticks or something from the boys. So I'm going to do those. I also have these little charming little things. I'm not really sure what they're made of. I looked at the bottom and I didn't see anything. So I'm just going to do that. All right. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to hold it with one hand. So I'm going to get my scrubby, my little scrubby like this. Put a little bit of water on it, just like this. And then I'm going to take some of my marble paste. And what I do is I just put a little bit in my lid. Take this one out. So I put a little bit of marble paste in there. And then I take my little scrubby and I dab it in. See how there's a little bit of powder on there? It's actually a little bit too much powder. So I take that. So now I'm going to, sorry, I'm just going to put my phone down. And see if I can take a video with one hand because I need both hands. And go. Perfect. So now I'm going to take my little sponge and I'm going to start scrubbing my little paste onto my little um, thing. So this part here didn't look like it really did much. So I'm going to go, go in one more time. in my scrubber. Sometimes a little bit of elbow grease is all you need. So then I'm going to wipe it up. Oops, wrong video. There we go. Look at the difference at the top, right there, and the bottom part. See the two sides? So that's all you need to do with the marble paste. So I'm going to keep working on that. Now I'm going to keep going on. See, there's there's the, what has, the spot I did right there on the top. So now I'm going to do the other items. So I'm going to take my little uh, thing here. Um, this came actually from my brother's house. So I'm just going to rub that on and see what this is and what it's made of. And... Take a little bit. Oh, look at my sponge. See the color of my sponge? That's what on here. See that? Starting already. I'm going to get a little more marble paste. So about this much. I'm going to keep rubbing until I get all that black stuff off. Again, I don't really know what this is or what it's made of, but all I know is marble paste is taking all see the black stuff so I did that side I'm gonna keep going to this side I know I have a few friends that own the marble paste and this is a little bit hard to do it in my hand because it's so tiny and I actually have thick hands so Anyhow, so I just thought I'd show you a slight, slightly, look at that, see that shine? So like I said, just keep going, add a little more marble paste, and keep rubbing. I can also get my polishing fiber, my yellow polishing fiber, because then I can nicely polish it after I'm done washing all that off. There go. So there's my little scrubby. Look at the color on there. And look at the shine on the outside just by using that. So then I'm going to rinse that off and then look at it again and see where I actually need to keep working. So you can see it isn't black anymore. So here is what it looked like before. 
because I have three of them. So now I'm going to do all three. See the difference? Wow, this is crazy. I love it. So that's how we use that. So now I'm going to do my shoe. This part of my shoe here. So with that one, I don't know if I need to use marble paste, but I'm actually going to use my textile glove, which is this one here, because I don't want to get that silver stuff on there. So I'm just going to wet my glove and see that. And I'm going to start rubbing on there. With my, see the textile side? So that's what I'm going to use. I believe this could be food because I just, plus I, I, it's on my heel, so I'm not really sure what it is. So I'm going to use a little bit of wash up soap just to see. So I put a little dab on there because if it's a stain, it's actually been there since last year because I didn't even realize my heel was that dirty. So I'm going to rub this out. It doesn't normally take this long to take it off, but what I'm thinking is I might have to come back after I let the wash up soap um, keep in there. So I'll come back. I did do this one, this heel. I had some on that side as well. And you can see how this heel is nice and clean. So I'll come back and do that one a little bit later and do a follow up on that. Now, these shoes. See the yellow on the shoes and the red? So I'm going to see what I can do with that. But I think that I'm going to try the marble paste because this discoloration here is stained from laces. So I'm going to use my glove. Again, my textile glove with some marble, coat, marble paste. And I might actually try my heel with that too just to see. So I'm going to work in that mesh and see if I can get that mesh to a nice little white color. Again, a little marble paste up in there. Rub it out. I think these shoes were used for cheerleading, so there's a lot of running around and jumping on these shoes. So if I put them side by side, you can see, look at that difference. See that compared to that? That's what I took off of the top of those shoes with just some marble paste. So I'm gonna keep working on this shoe and then I'll do a follow up after and show you how they turned out. Thanks everyone. So there we go, couple little key items on marble paste. Oh, I should actually do this too. So see how this scrub is so dirty. I'm going to rinse it out. And then I'm going to show you how. Sorry, I should have got that first. I'm going to take my wash up soap foam, just like that. I'm going to rub it in. I'm going to massage it in my fiber where I just use it on that silver stuff. Just going to massage it in there nice and good. And I'm going to squeeze it out and show you. That's what was inside my glove. Isn't that crazy? So look at now. My glove is perfectly clean again. So this is all you need to do. A little bit of wash-up soap, a little bit of marble paste, and we're good to go.